Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about these New World PTR leaderboards that are coming to live very, very soon. So the first thing we're going to do to look at them, by the way guys, I have not looked at them a single time yet, so this is going to be kind of a live reaction to what these look like and what we can expect more of. But let's hit escape, let's go to modes, let's go to the leaderboards. You can see there's Outpost Rush, 3v3 Arena, and of course leaderboards is going to be under the modes. So here we're going to see a weekly reset of 5 days, the monthly reset of 21 days, and quarterly being that 12 days as well. So there's a quarterly, weekly, and a monthly reset every single time. So here, first off, we have Mutated Expeditions. If we click into this, you'll see the Starstone Barrows, the maximum score and the clear time, which is really, really cool. You can see that the clear time with gold rank, of course, being the you know needed rank for the clear time of the M10s. And we can see the maximum score as well. So there's going to be a leaderboard section for the characters. There's going to be search by company. And you can also search by faction, which is a very, very cool thing to see because you're not always going to be able to compete with the rest of your server. You're going to have to compete against people in your faction, in your company, and of course, characters in the entire server if you are still in you know that top 10 range where you can see yourself. Because a lot of us, let's be real, are not going to be able to compete against some of the best in our server. Some of those guys are just too good. They have too much time or whatever else is our excuse for being worse than them that is going to be a nice way to kind of search by faction by company and of course like i said by character as well so you saw the mutated mutated uh, i guess expeditions how they work here with the leaderboards and you can see the rewards this week as well so championship or champion of starstone barrows earned by placing first on the starstone barrows difficulty 10 score weekly leaderboard um, very, very cool, by the way. This is pretty cool skins, in my opinion. I really think a lot of people are going to go for this stuff, and I'm very, very excited about this. So top 10, if you get the top 10, you're going to have the hero of the Starstone Barrows, but if you get the first, you're going to have the conqueror of Starstone Barrows. Expect people to be grinding hard for this content in the new update. We go to the next side of things. We have Faction War. So Faction War is going to be cool as well. So you have Territory Control. You have Governing Streak. By the way, these aren't going to give you any great rewards. This quarterly does not have rewards. So just keep that in mind. Maybe they're coming out with them. Maybe they aren't. But you can also see, like I said, Faction, Company, and Character yet again. You have wars, so you can actually go to wins. The amount of wins overall, attacker wins, defender wins, kills, kill-death ratio, all of this stuff you can actually search by um, and damage dealt, damage absorbed. The only thing I don't love is wars having damage dealt and damage absorbed just because you are going to have people you know, stat padding and you don't really want that in wars, right? You want to win the war overall. You don't want to really see people be going just straight for kills or straight for damage dealt, but we may see even more of that now with that being one of the leaderboards. But it doesn't look like, like I said, there is any quarterly rewards here as of now, so maybe they'll change that, but I kind of hope not, to be honest. And you can actually go into the weekly and monthly as well. So let's go to the weekly, uh, week two. You can see weekly, monthly, quarterly, all of this information. That's what makes it so cool, in my opinion. So next up, we have Verse Environment. Verse Environment is kind of the same situation here. You're going to see invasions. You're going to see the score, wins, kills, kill death ratio, heals, all of this stuff in invasions. You're going to have trials. So people are going to be trying that Saren Queen. They're going to be going for the uh, the cleft. The We're also going to see a lot of people going for Eternal Pools. These are going to be three arenas that are going to have reasons to actually go into them now because you're going to have to get the quarterly leaderboard and you can also get the quarterly skin, which is in this case the Spire of Malapamine. I don't know exactly how to say that one, to be honest, but you can see that the skins are the same between each arena. And I believe when we go back to the Starstone, let's go back to a mutated dungeon. And where's that Starstone? Yeah, you're going to have the same exact skins. I don't know if that's always going to be the case for expeditions and arenas, but it's kind of cool how that works out because you are going to have people that are actually going to run these arenas now and try to get them done very, very quickly. And that's something that we haven't seen much of. People haven't been speed running arenas because there's really not much reason to do them when there's M10s out there. So now we're seeing more people probably going to try these arenas slash trials very, very much so in the next update. We also have the Corrupted Breaches. So there's going to be a score based on that. And Corrupted Breaches as well is going to have these skins and titles inside of the leaderboard. So which you know, pretty cool to see these skins making their way into the, you know, many different leaderboards. I'm hoping that PvP specifically has different skins. I don't think they will, though. Let's take a look. So, yep, again, we're going to have the same skin. And I'm hoping, like I said, this does change. We don't know how long, you know, it's going to be this way. But you can actually see, because people have done PvP, the control points captured in open world PvP. You can see the influence earned. So this is kind of cool as well. You can see the actual overall influence 
by players and how it's earned. So the top 10 would actually get the, the chance at this skin. Uh, so expect a lot more PvP missions to be ran by people as well. If we go to the PvP kills, there is a leaderboard for kills. I'm very worried about this because we are going to see people just continually boosting kills. And that's why you probably won't see these skins being introduced to PvP kills overall. If we take a look though at 3v3 arenas, uh, it does look like there's leaderboards. But yet again, unfortunately, it doesn't look like a skin is going to be needed or, sorry, is not going to even be here for the 3v3 arenas, which I really, really want to see a separate skin for 3v3 arenas as I think that's going to be really their most competitive mode. They also have the Outpost Rush, Damage Taken, Damage Dealt, all of these cool things. And actually, if you look at Outpost Rush score, there is rewards for the Outpost Rush score, but not when it comes to player kills and stuff, which is good. We don't want stat pad and we want to actually win, so cool to see that. And then Arena score does not have, unfortunately, the, let's see if they have it on win-loss, kills, none of this stuff has it, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, so this is interesting as well. You can see the win-loss ratio. Uh, very, very cool, but at the same time, not cool, because we're still seeing a very, very basic thing here. They need to update this for sure. You can see their win-loss ratio of 2, 1, and 0. That looks terrible, to be honest. They need to have it your wins, your losses, and then your win-loss ratio, and you need to have over 100 games played to actually get your win-loss ratio. Something like that would be good. This is just terrible. Uh, you know, seeing the two one zero looks so, so basic, so, so, um, I don't know. It doesn't look good, basically. I want to see arenas get a nice little revamp for ranked and leaderboards altogether, but it's a step in the right direction, I guess, is what we have to say. And again, you can do factions company-wise and then, of course, character-wise across all of the companies and factions as well. So now we've seen the PvP side of things. That was the one I wanted to really look into. We do have trade skills left, which is cool. So we have Arcana, we have Armoring, Engineering, Fishing, Jewel Crafting, and Weapon Smithing as well. So this guy crafted, you can actually see the amount of jewel crafting legendaries he's made. PTR big at 284 when it comes to the jewel crafting legendary. So he must have been testing some big things out with jewel crafting, and he's currently in the lead when it comes to it. So very, very cool. Overall, I think these leaderboards are something that a lot of people will kind of mess around with and try to compete in. Uh, and I think that this is overall a very, very good addition to the game. Do I think they need kind of revamps in certain places and they need to actually update things to bake? I don't know, make them look a little bit more uh, exciting? Absolutely. Like, when you go to verse players, this should be a spot that PvP players actually feel at home in. They can go to their spots. They can actually see that there's, you know, unique rewards for PvP. And uh, I just think a lot of people are not going to be very happy when they look over here at 3v3 arenas and they see a win-loss ratio that looks like this, a kill-death ratio. Like, some of this stuff just needs revamped up. But it does look like it's going in the right direction at the very least. So I'm excited for that. We'll see how this goes and plays out. A lot of people are going to be talking about this, probably saying good things, bad things. You know, we're going to talk about it as we see updates. But weekly, five days, there is a monthly as well as a quarterly. So a lot of cool stuff to look in here uh, in the near future. We're going to continue to talk about this. But thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys have any questions, comments, let me know in the comments below. Leaderboards, if you guys want to take a look at this yourself, go to New World PTR and see for yourself what it looks like. It's definitely something that I am looking forward to, giving us kind of a spot to look and kind of grind for when it comes to PvP at the very least. And some of you guys probably looking for those expeditions and faction wars and trade skills and verse environment as well. But a lot of exciting stuff. I'll see you guys all in the next one.